All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to day number one of 20 days straight of streaming. That's right. It is September, and to celebrate, I'm streaming for the next 20 days in a row. That's right. Every single day for the next 20 days, I'll be streaming. Why? Because I love y'all. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just uh, I, I shouldn't even kid about stuff like that. September. Half price subs. It's not actually all month. It's starting yesterday at 4 p.m., going to like the 24th or something like that, which works out well because I'm going TwitchCon at the end of the month. So for most of the month, for most of the month, uh, half price subscriptions um, for all new subs and I believe returning subs as well. Information of a link in chat. Type in exclamation point September. We got some sub goals here too. You can see below. We got our little counters here. Day number one of uh, 20. Also, we're at 518 subs out of 1,000. There are your goals on the stream. When we get 600 subs, I'll do a Modern Goblins League. 700 subs, Viewer Challenge Day. 800 subs, Reopen Donation Bonus Leagues. 900 subs. We introduce uh, our new stream mascot. And let's not get 1,000. The goal of the, this stream is to get to 999 subs perfectly. Exactly 999. That's the goal. So what we're doing today, we're playing some modern. And um playing some modern. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, I have one other thing to, to show here. I got a present from Wizards of a Coast. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm supposed to see that. I got a food token. A hashtag food token. You've been cordially invited to the Royal Courts of Eldrain. They request the honor of your presence today. Hopefully that's after my stream, which it probably is, because they're all West Coast time anyway. So check that out, of course, as well. Food token. Get some hype in chat for food tokens, please. Why is this muted? What happened? Why did that mute? Anyway, we're playing modern, and uh, a lot of modern because standard right now is pretty freaking boring, and we are playing decks that would normally be playing Faithless Looting. Thibiator, new sub. Welcome, my friend. What's your name? Where are you from? But we don't got Faithless Looting no more. So what are we doing? We're playing two decks that would want to play Faithless Looting but can't. All right, we'll get to that deck later. These are both decks from SG Dallas this weekend. Uh, this is actually the deck that came in first place in the Classic on Sunday. And it's literally just Dredge, minus four looting, plus four Tome Scour. Tome Scour, one blue sorcery. Target player puts top five cards over library into their graveyard. So uh, one half a glimpse of the unthinkable. And most of a Shriekhorn all up front. And is this card better than Faithless Sitting? No. However, if everyone's cutting their graveyard hate, maybe this is good enough. So, I'm not sure if this is the right way to build Dredge. Uh, we're going to play this list card for card here. Again, this is uh, Jake Perales' deck from SCG, uh, wherever it was, Dallas uh, in the Classic. Um, obviously, some slight changes to the mana base. We're playing City of Brass, so we can cast Tome Scour. Also playing two Forgotten Caves to go with our Life Maloms. And, um, seems pretty cool. It's Dredge. Let's see how it works without Life from Alone. What do y'all think? It's gonna work? It's gonna work? I don't know. We're gonna find out. No, not Rakdos Midrange. We're playing that one next. Playing that one next. Right now we're playing some Dredge Dredge. Give him the old Dredgy Dredges. Let's go. New sub is David. From Montreal. Playing some Scars. Favorite card, Mind's Desire. Favorite deck, Legacy Hide Side. Love it. Thanks, David. Appreciate it. Who's your hockey team? Morning, everyone. Morning, Jay the Beard. Morning, Kenobi. Limberry. Can you can you sub if you're using mobile? I think September bonuses only work if you're on desktop. So I want to wait till you get home and uh, use that. All right. So uh, unfortunately, if these were Faithless Lootings, this hand would be really, really good. But they're not, so we're going to mulligan. Uh, London mulligan, of course, very, very good for dredge. So, uh, nope, no Magic Fest for me this weekend. 
Okay. So, this hand's not great. It does have a Tome Scour. Um, we are on the draw. We get to put Narc Amoeba back into our deck and then shuffle it, which is pretty cool. Um, hmm. Is this good enough? I think so. I'm going to keep. It's not it's certainly not great, but... Yeah, I, I think if you can just open, if you're on mobile, you can just open up your browser on mobile and do it that way. All right, Loam's a pretty good draw. So we're definitely going to fetch, uh, we're going to fetch uh, Steam Vents here. Bones playing Creeping Tar Pit, which should be good for us. Back for more. Great White Bow Hunter, that's your second month, my friend. That means you chose to come back, and I appreciate that. Very, very much. That second month sub is the most important because it means, again, you chose to come back, and I appreciate that. You're the best. Double creeping chill. Not too shabby. Welcome back. Phantasmagorian? Uh, I don't think so. Honestly, there's a lot of different avenues we can try here. Um, I think the card Glimpse the Unthinkable is actually just pretty playable. Um... Uh, Hedron Crab's an option. Um, there's a number of options, honestly. You know, figuring out the right one's gonna be uh, gonna be interesting. B Armstrong resub nine months. That's a sub, baby. Name our child, please. Hashtag ban creeping chill. All right, creeping fart pit planes. So we get the dredge loam. We get the cast loam. Collective brutality. Duress. So they're going to put my life from in the graveyard. Could be worse. Could be worse. Hey, nice to see you over at 7-Eleven the other day. I haven't been to a 7-Eleven in... I couldn't tell you how long. Alright. Sevskis. Dredge skis. Stinkweed Imp, Stinkweed Imp, Bloodgast. Alright. So, not amazing. We are... One of the great things about looting, obviously, is the flashback, being able to kind of, like, keep that rolling even when you're dredging. But, um, we're going to roll along here. I mean, Pawn's definitely playing a fair deck, so ideally, uh, we're going to be pretty well suited against them in a longer game. We have our, uh, our two Forgotten Caves as well, so it allows Loam to be a little more of a draw engine. Is Blister Burn dead without looting? Blister Burn didn't play looting. So, I know Ryan Overturf's version did, but my version did not. Alright, so... So now I have an interesting choice of we can dredge Stinky Nip or Loam. Um, we can honestly just cast Prized Amalgam. Yeah, I think we're going to dredge Imp this turn. We hit... Nothing of, nothing of relevance. So we'll attack. Let's cast Amalgam. I'm not really in a huge rush here. Definitely feels like uh, this deck is much more reliant on... Uh, Alright, Path, sure. Forgotten Cave. Because uh, it's a way to turbocharge the dredges, so that Cycling Land is going to be an interesting uh, interesting addition to the deck. Only have one Blood Crypt in our deck? That's risky. Alright, so this is not, like, the plan A, per se, but it works. Uh, we played 8-Rack last week. Uh, it wasn't really very good. E, thank you, my friend. Prize Amalgam is in play. All right, so we're gonna dredge again. Uh, this time we're gonna dredge loam because I want to cast the loam. We can cast loam and amalgam. So can we hit a narco amoeba? Okay. Got snap path. 
Another path. Just pathing. Yep, yeah, sure. Unfortunately, we're out of basics. It's like only has one mountain in it, but... We really want to find our Forgotten Cave. That's what we're really looking for here. We only have, we have two Forgotten Caves in our deck. We're, we're about halfway through our deck at this point. So... E! Resub. Welcome back. Month number two. Once again, that's the most important month. Thank you for resubbing. Appreciate that very, very much. Welcome back. Alright. Um... I guess we're gemstone mining. It's just damageless. Certainly not the most ideal hand here, but we have, you know, we got stuff. We got stuff. They only have two cards left. And they have a Snapcaster Mage and a Creeping Tar Pit, and that is it. So, once we find ourselves a Forgotten Cave, um, or a I mean, conflict rate's okay. Alright, so big dredge here for five, I think. Yeah, I don't think I want to cast another loam. We get Prize the Malgum, Blood Guest, Life from Loam, and Conflict Rate. So, pretty big one there. Uh, first things first, we're attacking. We could cast Conflict Rate and try and deal some damage to them, and then get the Blood Guest back, attack with haste, but. I think a card like Cryptic Command is kind of likely here. I'd rather just not attack into a... Uh, or not play into it. We're not really in any rush here at all, so... Yes, yeah, so we're playing the Rakdos mid-range deck uh, a little bit later today. Alright, so we're just going to rip, rip, rip off our... Uh, our Stinkweed Imps here, I guess. Keep playing stuff, whatever. I almost want to... Hmm. I don't think I have any fetchable lands left. Yeah. They have a Wrath, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Get that back, get that back. Don't really have a way to get these things. I guess we, we could, uh... Could Cathartic or discard the hand size. But, nah, I'm gonna cast Think Medium. Well, things are different now. So, I'm not usually a fan of Gemstone Mine, but when you're playing Tome Scour, your colors are a little different. Um, again, this is just the, the list that, uh, that won the Classic. Um, I haven't gotten to getting my own uh, spin on it yet, because I want to play with this list first and see how it feels. I have a few ideas for, uh, for Dredge. I think that uh, I think that graveyard decks. There was very few graveyard decks in Dallas last weekend, and um, you can't really sleep on graveyard decks. You know, I know looting is gone, but obviously graveyard cards are still here. You can still make it work. Okay, um, double dredging loam and hitting two creeping chills. Yeah, let it break. We're going to change the uh, the subscription song soon. There's going to be no more songs and no more gifts. I'm getting pretty sick of them. All right, so pretty easy game one there. Um, now it comes to sideboarding. And we need to decide what we think they're going to do. Lay one of the void, probably not playable anymore. But, uh, of course, rest in peace is. Um, don't really know what they're doing, honestly. I don't, they played a basic... Uh, Played some basic lands, some, some discard spells. Doesn't really seem like a like a counter spell -y deck, but it could be. Who knows? Um, is the sub counter not updating? Oh, it's updating. Oh, it's not actually. It's a little behind. Um, what's up with that? I don't know. Should be updating. Um, I want some number of claims. Pura Vida. Welcome back, Jim. Welcome back to you, my friend. Happy to have you. 
And yeah, the counter's not updating. I don't really know why. We'll work on that. Um, we're gonna cut here. Bro, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. I'm not sure what to cut here, honestly. I mean, I don't love Creeping Chill in the control matchups. Because it doesn't play well against Graveyard Hate. And our main plan's usually pretty good against them. We're at 20 lands. I mean, you could shave, like, a Narc Amoeba and probably the Creeping Chills. And bring something like this. Let's try this. I'm really sure. You know, it's just slow to update. It's good now. Echo Storm sounds cool. I mean, donation bonus leagues are reopening once we hit uh hit 800 subs. So, all right, so this hand is interesting. Um, we have Shriekhorn. We have Forgotten Cave for an extra draw. We obviously can't cast Tome Scour yet, but I think this hand's fine. We can also just cast Conflagrate and then discard stuff too if we really have to. I'm gonna keep. This hand's not great, but they all get to six. I suppose they could have a discard spell, and without a Shriekor in our hand, it's much, much worse, but... Alright, so they're going to play a discard spell. It kind of sucks. Definitely looking forward to exploring some graveyard decks with uh with with these cycling lands and maybe Ren and Six, even his life Malone. <laughs> the thought sees bug strikes again. Tubby Batman. Good morning, Jim. Hope you have a great day. Uh, oops. I didn't set my second main phase stop. I hope I don't hit a Narc Me Better Amalgam. Nope, just a Blood Guest. Upkeep. Dredge card. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is getting dirty real fast. Dredge. Alright, so no second Dredge card, so I can't cycle my Forgotten Cave for any insane value. But still pretty good, still pretty good. Uh, blood Guest and Amalgam. Um, no dredge cards. No dredge cards. No loam either. All right, we could flashback conflagrate. I guess maybe we will do that actually. Flashback conflagrate, discarding amalgam and snake weed him. Just get him in the graveyard. I kind of like that actually. So for three. A one, a two, a three. Lightning bolt you. Forgotten Cave is kind of sweet. I'm not gonna lie. Just uh, the extra draw for extra dredges is pretty awesome. Oh, look at that! That one saw that one saw that. One. Okay, get my mountain, please. Thank you. Discard three cards, actually. It's not quite one with nothing, but place. Alright, so Amalgam goes back in step. Upkeep. We're going to Shriek Horn ourselves. Tome Sour, Stimpy Dimp. Alright, so draw Stinky Dimp. And yes, please. Another Blood Gast, another Amalgam. Cool. Uh. Combat. No more dredge cards in the graveyard again. Um, I could just conflagrate again, I guess. Just put the stink unit back in the graveyard. I could actually, I could actually conflagrate. I got a fatal push. Wow. This is what I'm saying. Where people aren't playing graveyard decks, they're not ready for it. Even if our deck is worse, it's still really good against them. You know. 
All right. Um. Yeah, we're gonna conflagrate for two. Discarding Stinkweed Imp and Tome Scour. And I think we just we're gonna dredge Stinkweed Imp. I guess we don't have to do it right now. We can just do it on their turn. Only really matters, honestly. Um, but yeah. So format gets more fair. Even bad dredge is still good dredge. So not a very close match there. Round one in the books. Want to remind everyone check out CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, your number one source for all your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com, also the home of my articles. That's right, cool stuff. Having a Labor Day sale. 15% off all played cards. I love played cards because I play with my cards. All right? I don't like having mint cards. I want to beat the crap out of my cards when I'm shuffling them. So check it out, coolstuffinc.com. Of course, my uh, my video articles and stuff like that. And uh, use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order. Hey, cool. I always get a token now, too. That's awesome. So check it out, coolstuffinc.com. Love them played cards. Good deals. Don't feel bad about wrecking them. All right, so not a very good hand here because this is basically a four-card hand. These cards all don't matter in our hand. Once again, the reason why uh, uh, the London Mulligan is so good for this deck. And uh, this one's not very good. Yeah, we can't really keep this one either. Um... Yeah, we're going to mulligan. Ah! I don't think Faithless League is an unfair card, no. All right, we're going to keep this. It's pretty bad. But we're going to keep both fetch lands for our loam. Dead Sins, Risa, welcome back. Sub hype. We are halfway there for the 24 hour stream. Please, no. Please, no. These Ooh. JIMD hands of the week so far. A little street corn action. Um, kind of awkward fetching here because we definitely want green, but if we draw a tome scour, then we actually want to get blue first. Yeah, I'm gonna get the blue first because we draw tome scour. Meyer can get the the green, and then we can get back uh, the lands for black. That's awkward. Not feeling great here if we're playing the mirror and our hand is a uh, is so bad, but Matt with the resub, thank you. Alright. Stinkweed him. Stinkweed Imp. They didn't dredge? Uh, okay, yeah, never mind. That was in their upkeep. Uh, yeah, their hand looks much, much better than ours. They have Cathartic, too. Yeah, Cathartic is definitely still the card. I mean, Cathartic is just busted. You know, Cathartic is definitely better than, than uh, Looting is in this deck. And, uh... We haven't actually cast one of those yet, so yeah, we're just... I'm just going to skip this game. We're just super dead. Triple Creeping Chill, Triple Amalgam, we're at 7. Yeah, all right. I mean, Cathartic Reunion is that good. And Cathartic Reunion is definitely better than Looting was in this deck. It is by far the best card in the deck by a mile. So. All right. Uh, not, a lot of, not a lot of graveyard hate here. We might just be running back the same 75, honestly. Um, yeah. I don't want any of these cards. Not a one. Run it back. Run it back.
man, 20 days straight. If they have ley line, they, they win. You know, it's sort of like if you're willing to play ley line right now, people aren't really playing graveyard eight. So, hey, that's not very good. Okay, we're going to keep because we have double cathartic. So the first cathartic can find a dredge card. We're going to keep. It's too hard to mulligan this hand. The sub count is public. It's literally right below me. In the big purple box. So, also, tonight is my fantasy football draft. That is right. I am in a 20-team uh, pro magic player fantasy football league. We're going into our sixth year. 20 teams. Uh, awesome, awesome league. I've come in second in this league twice. I came in second last year. I streamed the draft last year as well. Uh, really, really fun league. I'll be streaming that draft tonight at 9 p.m. Tomescower hits Loam, Bloodgast, Conflagrate. All right, so we're going to get a... What are we going to get? Let me just Steam Vents in case we draw Thumbs Tomescower again. Okay, uh, yeah, this, this Cathartic better be good. This is definitely not a great Cathartic here. We obviously going to be dredging, but the second Cathartic hopefully makes it okay. Yeah, that makes it a lot better. All right, so we should have a really big turn next turn. Let's just hope they don't have Cathartic. Well, the viewer challenges are on there. They dredge, hit an Amoeba, and another Blood Guest. Alright. Ooh. Uh, if you're playing dredge, don't do this. Don't ever keep a one lander. And if you have a one lander, don't dredge. You have to have two lands in play to function as, as a dredge deck. Uh... Yeah, that's a, a big mistake by our opponent there. All right. Um, we're going to Shriekhorn, and then we're going to Cathartic. Let's see if we can get a dredge card off of Shriekhorn first. Bloodgast plays. It plays. Get back all those. And bombs away. Uh... Discarding Stinkweed Imp and Conflagrate. All right, City Brass, take one. First dredge. Second dredge. All right, missed on a third dredge. But we get to Creeping Chill. And now we have two more Blood Ghasts. Not a ton. It was all right. Could have been better, but it was all right. Yeah, I mean, they uh, they aren't going to do anything because they kept a one, kept a one lander. You should never do that. Uh, we're going to dredge nothing. Oh, I didn't. I missed. I didn't. I didn't trigger. And so it doesn't really matter. They're not doing anything anyway. So yeah, Narcomy, uh two blood gas. We can conflagrate. Yeah. We do six to them, one in Argument, pitching our entire hand. That gives our blood gas tastes and kills them. Let's be a lesson to you, dredge players. Don't keep one land hands. What's up, Captain Salty? How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the stream. If you're just tuning in, my name's Jim Davis. Playing some modern today. First day of 20 days in a row. Technically, I actually streamed yesterday, too. It's going to be 21 days in a row, but it's a September promotion, so. All right, run it back. Now we're on the draw, unfortunately, so that's not great. But but yeah, so tonight, as I said, 
um, is the fantasy football draft. Where's my, uh, It's on my it's on my Twitter or my, on my on my YouTube I mean last year's fantasy draft I don't know why it's uh so hard to find here but it's under magic stuff yeah maybe eh, it's on there somewhere but I'll be streaming my draft tonight it should be a lot of fun um this hand is not great um I think on the draw we got a mulligan this one this is not explosive enough. Um, especially on the draw in the mirror, we have to mulligan to a cathartic, practically. And the London mulligan will help us do that, so it's mulligan. Um, this hand's also pretty bad. Yeah, I'm going to ship it again. We have a Shriekhorn, we can't cast Tome Scour. Tome Scour's been hard to cast so far. Killing me, Smalls. Alright, I think the combination of Shriekhorn and Forgotten Cave makes this hand doable. Um, we're going to pitch the, the Conflagrate and the Creeping Chill. And just hope our Shriekhorn is pretty nasty. I don't think going to 4 is better than this. Just going to hope their uh, hand is good. Sorry, Grom, I know. A little, little light last week, I know. I haven't done too much research for football yet. I'll do that. Ah, uh, oh, crap. They definitely have cathartic. I'll do that, uh, do that before tonight. All right, we got the horn. It's possible a thought scour is better than tome scour? Nah. It's too... You gotta put the cards in your graveyard first, you know? Alright, Cathartic with Stinkweed Imp and Amalgam. Please brick on the first dredge. Nope, hit another Stinkweed Imp. Alright, the second dredge bricked, but they also hit triple Amalgam. Yeah, we're probably just dead. <laughs> just 11, 11 power on turn 2 in the play, you know? We have Bloodgast, Life Malone. Yeah, we're probably in trouble. Dredge Mirror is not very fun. Going first and playing Cathartic Green are two things that matter. And they did both those things both those things this game, so Another Life from Alone. Alright. I mean Dredge hit a creeping chill and a Golgari thug. All right, so let's cycle dredge thug. Hit nothing. All right, yeah, we're we're 100% dead. It's possible I shouldn't have brought that back actually, because I could have uh, saved it to try and get back uh, amalgams, but I think we're just super dead. So and they have conflagrate too. Thanks for following, my friends. If you haven't followed, hit that follow button, of course. Welcome. Uh, Season Pyromancy is a little expensive, what this deck's trying to do. It could be good. I mean, it is discard, then draw, right? It could be a card. It could be a card. Dredge is a deck that needs to be reevaluated pretty seriously, so I think basically everything's on the table at the moment. Hey Jim, I want to let you know Jeff announced on his stream today about my 20 day September and invited his viewers to check your content out. I don't understand. It's not my September, it's everyone's September, right? But Jeff's great, so. His Pyromancer is probably too slow. Pyromancer is like a 3 mana worse cathartic reunion. Uh, 
Yeah, we're, we're, I don't know what we're supplying here. All right. That's the mirror. Mirror's not very fun. Simple as that. Oh, a 20-day stream. Oh, that's sweet. Well, thanks, Jeff. If, you, if for some reason you haven't seen Jeff's content, obviously check it out. Jeff is great. Jeff is one of the hardest working people in Magic. All right. Let's dredge somebody who's not trying to dredge us. That's the plan here. Yeah, I think that trying out uh, Pyrancer could be a thing. There's also, like, a lot of different ways we can go with graveyard stuff, you know? Like, I think building some sort of loam deck with, like, cycling lands could be cool. Like, seismic assault's a magic card. A lot of things we can do. A lot, a lot of brews. Because the thing is that playing any of those decks when Dredge was so good was silly because you just played Dredge instead. But now that Dredge isn't as good without looting, it changes things a bit, so... Right, for sure. Yeah, definitely, um... We're in uncharted territory here a little bit, you know? Um, I'll, be, I'll be doing some brewing. Right now we're trying to play some of the decks that did well. And then I want to do some brews and experiment a little bit. Alright, so pretty easy mulligan here. So far, casting Tomescour has seemed very difficult. I think you only have like 13 blue sources on turn one. Uh, Tomescour has seemed pretty bad. Alright, this is fine. Opponent's on five cards, and we are on the the draw with Shriekhorn. If we just find a loam, we're in pretty good shape. I'm, I'm going to keep. Ship Creeping Chill. The John Nay. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Yeah, I think um, I think the card uh, Ransack the Lab is actually pretty playable. It's like the black strategic planning from Modern Horizons. I think we're going to need to explore new ways to put cards in the graveyard without looting available to us. What's up, Sergey? Five-month resub. Welcome back. Points of a tank here. Jeez. What is the severe drawback of Burning Inquiry? It's a random card. You may not discard the cards you want to discard. It is good as a draw enabler um, to... Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that Tom's Guy was terrible, so... It's good for drawing once you already have dredge cards in the graveyard, but it's not a good card to get cards into your graveyard. It's usually what you want your one mana cards to do. Well, there's a Loam. So their Tom's Guy was basically blank. And they mulligan to five. So we should be pretty ahead here. Quick thoughts on Eldraine spoilers. I can't really... You know, like, I've seen a few of them in passing. Food token. Oh, I didn't... Oops. I suppose I can main phase that. In case I hit exactly Amalgam and uh, Narcomoeba. Dredge guard. Life Malone, perfect. Dredge Life Malone. Blood Guest, Stinkweed Imp, Arid Mesa. All right. So, opponent's hand seems really bad, which is good for us. Johnny from. From Dallas, Fort Worth. I wish I was there last weekend. I like Dallas a lot. I was sad to miss the tournament, but just couldn't do it. Appreciate the uh, YouTube love. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Half price new subs. September. What is this? They just drew a cathartic union. Discarding two lands. God, their hand is bad. Your first day two. Awesome. Congrats, my friend. Um, let's do this. Conflagrate. Dredge Stinkweed Imp. Hit. Not much. Not much. 
Um, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack for two. All right. Got some big brain plays here. Then we're going to conflagrate. We're going to kill our own blood guest. And we're going to deal them uh, three. Four. Four. So discard five cards. We're going to discard Stinkweed Imp, Amalgam, Amalgam, Stinkweed Imp, and a land. Then we're going to play our own land, get back Blood Guest, which will get back a set of Amalgams, and we're going to stick up. Killing our own creatures. We're crazy. This is Arena. It would have been like, Jim, are you sure you want to do that? The fourth cathartic. This one has dredge cards, though. This one has dredge cards in it. All right. Thankfully, things don't block very well. So as long as they hit like 10 creeping chills, we should be able to just probably get them next turn. Right, it's not bad. It's not bad. All right, I'm going to fetch up a, a blue source. I don't like there's only one steam and one blood crypt, because if you mill it over, you just never get to use it ever again. Which kind of sucks, but... Oh, Boz, we started with our usual sub count of around 500, so. All right. Dredge think we didn't. Hit Amalgam, Loam, and not much else. Hmm. So I really want this blood gas to die. That would be hilarious if they printed Careful Study in, like, a future set. Man, we, oh, there's, a, there's a Forgotten Cave. All right, good. I was going to say, we, we, can, we can never find these Forgotten Caves. So it's Loam Back, Forgotten Cave, Gemstone Mine, I don't know, Arid Mesa. Now I get to cycle the cave and dredge stuff, but I don't really see a reason to do that yet. We'll probably just do it on their turn. So we're going to dredge a Stinkweed Imp, and we have no other plays anyway. So yeah, we're going to just play a Fetch Land. And say go. to become an idea. They're playing a radical idea in their deck. I mean, I suppose that is a proxy for a flashback looting, I guess. Um, it's an interesting one. Also playing Fiery Islet. All right. Interesting, interesting. Another Narc Amoeba, okay. Did not think I would have to use the, uh, you have to become an idea when I was playing modern here, but sure. All right, so we're going to end, ah, I, I screwed up. I should have cycled first. All right, that sucks. If I hit blood gas here, I'm going to feel really stupid. I just, uh, clicked the wrong thing too quickly. Cycle first thing we did. We hit, we hit a blood gas. Always punished. Don't think it matters. It's neither eight anyway, but Sell out with me, oh yeah, sell out with me tonight. Merry September to all. Sell out with me tonight. Why is this working? Would they see it? Alright, yeah. G freaking Lava Mancer. What is up, my friend? Show some serious love for G Lava Mancer. 41 months subscribed, long time mod of a stream, long time friend of a stream, 
Me and G Lob Mats went to a Red Sox game together up in the Northeast. G, G Lob Mats, give him a hand. Fantastic. All right, yeah, we're, we're, we're running the main deck back. So hopefully we lose game two on the draw and then win game three on the play. That'd be sweet. What's up, Sauce? Sauce. All right. Dredge mirrors. Who would have thought, you know? Who would have thunk it? Here in 2019. Faith is looting banned. Hobbit. Well, we're still a ways off from the uh, the Goblin thing. Once again, folks, September. There you go. Those are our goals. We're at 527 right now. All right. It's only day one. So, yeah, we got time. But... Yeah, I'm not going to go to Syracuse. Um, there's a, a hometown PTQ that weekend, and I'm streaming every day for the next 20 days, so I'm just not going to go. The sand is terrible. Uh, remember what I was saying about one land hands? Um, we might need to keep this one. With Shriekhorn and Tome Scour, it's a lot of natural dredging, and we're on the draw. And we can put cards in our graveyard without, without actually dredging. I'm going to keep. We're not going to dredge, though, until we have a, a second land, I think. Brian Pepper. Is this your deck? Is this you? Are you... Jake... Uh, per Perlez? I'm sorry saying that wrong. All right, land. Oh, that's the worst possible draw. All right, we're gonna Shriekhorn first. Never keep a one lander. It keeps a one lander. Yeah, I know. We're on the draw. It's six card hand. Sweet. We have the the player who won the classic with this deck in our chat right now. That's pretty cool. Well, Doctor Brian Pepper, welcome. We're one on one. We lost the mirror last round. Now we're playing the mirror again. Talk to us about the deck, Brian. So far, the Tome Scours have seemed a little hard to cast. What do you think? It's always good to have a doctor in chat. That is true. All right. Don't cathartic me. Uh, they have cathartic. I drew very well and faced no mirrors. It's a plan. It's a good plan. Radical idea. Stinkweed imp. Cathartic. All right, let's have this first dredge brick, please. It did. Oh, no. There's a thug. Never mind. And a creeping chill. And a prize oh, they got They got lots of stuff. Jimmed what? Jimmed? Excuse me. Jimmed wow. 35. Resell. Welcome back. Alright. Tome Scour prize the Malgum. Mm. Alright. Yeah, keeping one land hands is usually not a good idea. Alright, we hit an Archimiba. That's good. Get the amalgam back. That's pretty good. And big money Lando. Oh. Oh. You're killing me. Alright. The cool thing is we can tome scour ourselves and keep milling without actually not drawing a draw step. So Tormenting Voice? Uh no, I've not played that one yet. This is just a list that came in uh, first place at the classic. I wanted to try it card for card. I have a lot of ideas. What I oh man, we now we we really need to land. Triple blood guest. Um I certainly have ideas I want to try, but I wanted to try the baseline version first. No second cathartic. Oh, come on. Two cathartics? Two? Two cathartic reunions. That's unbeatable. 
Beating two Cathartics on the play seems almost impossible. But that's okay, because we get to play first next game, so... Oh, wow. I guess he block. They just don't have a land? Wow. Alright. Creeping Chill and Narcomy, but wow. Alright. Land. Oh, come on. You're killing me, Smalls. Um... Do I want to do this now? I don't really think is a reason to do that. Do I want to block, actually? So they have six spells in their hand. Already cast three Cathartics. That feels they have a cost of a Conflagrate, too. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I just block. Alright. This is not a great turn for us. Another creeping chill, tilt. What's up, madman? Block. We only have one Narcomir left, but. We probably gotta hit this land next turn, so. I mean, they're not playing a land because they didn't. They dredge. Was it? They dredge, dredge loam, maybe? Nope, thug. They have loam. Alright. This is bad for us. Uh, we're just dead to conflagrate next turn. So. Rough week. Well, it's playing time turn around, you know? Alright. Mill two lands, mill two non lands, no dredge, gotta draw land. All around me are familiar faces, worn out faces, tired of the words. Bright and early for the turn to dredges, cathartic reunion, never draw in the land. Uh, just asked about T voice. What is T voice? A oh, tormenting voice. Um, does seem reasonable. Does seem reasonable. They spoiled Garrick. I have not seen it yet. Playing first. No cathartic reunion. No way to discard of any kind. Mulligan. Come on. Mulligan again. Where are my cathartic reunions? Yeah, I mean, we definitely ran below expectation there. If we had just drawn a land in, in any of those first, like, four or five draw steps, you probably would have won that game pretty easily. But, all right, Mulligan. God <laughs> Uh, what are we on now? We're we're at five cards. Now we're going to four. Can't keep this one lander. Mulligan. Well, I mean, it has a cathartic. There's no dredge cards. Uh. So opponent's on five, we're on four. Opponent keeps five. We're gonna keep this. We're definitely shipping we gotta put three cards at the bottom. So City of Brass. I kinda like shipping I gotta ship two more cards. Is it crazy that I wanna ship Bloodgast and Prized Amalgam? So I can just cycle 
the cave looking for a dredge card. Is that crazy? So we have to we have to keep two lands in cathartic. That has to happen. So the question is, do we keep do we keep a bloody ass or amalgam of the cycle? I want the cycle. Alright. Here we are. Four cards ain't ideal, but I think I like the line. I don't think discarding a Blood Guest and an Amalgam is going to win us this matchup. In some matchups, that's great, but we need to be more explosive to win the mirror, so. Horn. Uh... I guess steam vents first. Come on. Come on. <laughs> we suck at this. We're so bad at this. All right, we have a number of shots at it next turn, I guess. So only a blood gas, no dredge cards for them yet. Don't you dare have cathartic reunion, all right? I'm sick of you and your never ending string of cathartic reunions. Got a ginger resub, welcome back. They have long. It's fine. They have long. It's long. It's not cathartic. It's fine. God, unbelievable. All right, they only have a loam. All right, so they bricked. They dredged three and then bricked, so it wasn't that bad. We have an ugly game brewing here. Narc Amoeba and some lands. All right. Big money, come on. Home scour, prize amalgam. Damn it. Stinkweed imp. God. Why are you like this? Oh. How do you run so bad? I think we're just saying go. I don't think that just drawing three cards is worth it. I'd rather just keep this and try and spike a dredge card on my draw. I have three. I have three looks at a dredge card next turn. All right, they hit an arc. Maybe get back to prize amalgam. It's not good. They have a loam too, and they have conflagrate. We're on the clock here. Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed, just give me that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome. Lots of modern this week. Lots of modern. Today's theme is faithless looting decks without faithless looting. All right. Come on. Oh, we did it. Blood gas. Think we did. Thank God. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Yeah, I want to use the ability. Are you crazy? All right, so we're going to fire off uh, Cathartic here, discarding Stinkweed Imp and Creeping Chill. Big draw. Big dredge. Big dredge. Got to hit a dredger here. Oh, we hit. Pretends to know. New sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Okay, this is fine. So we get this in play. Say yes. Attack skis. Oh, oops. They do have conflagrate and loam. 
and a bunch of cards in hand, but they can't kill us from 20, right? No. No, no. Uh, so far, Tome Scour hasn't been great, but this deck is still certainly powerful. Um, they milled a Blood Guest, sure. So next turn we get to... I guess we're not really doing much next turn, honestly. We can Loam for Forgotten Cave... Cycle it. So we get like maybe 10 cards worth of dredging next turn. Hooday! Five month resub. Welcome back. Hooday! Hooday! Uh, this is match number three. We're currently one and one. We've lost a mirror, and we beat Esper something. They're discarding two cards, Bloodgast and Life from Alone. It's interesting. Nope. Rakdos deck is next. What's going on here? Kind of a weird conflagrate. And they didn't guess Loam first. Peculiar. Peculiar. Alright, so they get the Dredge Fiery Islet. Hit Creeping Chill Narc Amoeba. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, so they're at 7, we're at... Or they're at 10, we're at 14. That's tough. That's tough. Dread Stink, we didn't hit. Double Narc Amoeba, Prize the Amalgam, and Blood Guest. <whistles> okay. Um, cast Life from Alone. Targeting Forgotten Cave... I don't know. Stomping ground. City of Rest. Now we can cycle and dredge. It's gotta be Loam. It's only our only dredge card there. It's kind of a tilt. Uh, now we have two blockers. We have three attackers. If we hit some blood gas, we have blood gas in the graveyard. It's pretty good. Right, let's dredge first. So, Dredge Loam. Dredge Loam. Nothing doing there. Alright. If we die here, they have five cards Conflagrate, Life from Loam. So they draw to six, land to five, Loam to seven. They can Conflagrate for seven. That's five to the face. Kill both blockers. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. I don't think so. This is three, six, seven, eight. And I guess they can. They have to make a block with something. Pure new sub. What's your name? Where you from? Welcome, my friend. I could leave back a safety prize the amalgam. Hmm. We definitely could die here. We could definitely die. So they get a fireball for seven. They kill two things, put us to nine. And then they if they don't block with some stuff, the bug guys come back anyway. So those aren't a block. So that's three, four, six. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. It's two, one, zero. They the blood, yeah, we could actually have to leave uh, we have to leave blocker back. Oh, as you die, exactly.
Yeah, I think Thought Scour is far worse than Tome Scour. I'm not even sure if Tome Scour is the right card. So far, they've hit only one chill. Um, they actually didn't have, didn't have a dredge that turn, though. They had no dredge cards. And we've hit two chills. Also, we only have one chill left. and we're, We have 20 cards and one chill. And we get to attack for a lot next year. We also have two conflagrates in our deck. We've hit zero so far. So, that's pretty big. I mean, old regime, this deck is definitely much worse than looting. The question is... Is it how good is it still? And the bigger question is, if people aren't playing graveyard hate, is bad dredge good enough? Yeah, that'd be sweet. News up is Seth playing since M19. Paper card lightning bolt. Paper deck anything stompy. What's up, Seth? Hello everybody. It's Pure Ohms. Probably better known as Seth. I did it backwards. I should have done it. It's Seth, probably but whatever. Leave me alone. And they are in the tank. In the tank. What's Dredge matchup like against Tron and Storm? Tron, with a lot of Worm Coils, is usually slightly favored against Dredge. Although, yeah, it's probably true. And then um, Storm is probably not great because they just Goldfish faster than you do. And you don't really drag with them in any meaningful way. Alright, so they got a Loam here. They make gemstone mine. We have one blood cast in the graveyard. All right, so they conflagrated to kill both amalgams and the narc amoeba. Interesting. It's not what I thought they would do. Sure, this is fine. All right, so dredge sink weed imp hit a conflagrate. We did it. We did it! We win! We're the best! They're the worst! Uh. Alright, get back up. Uh, doesn't matter what we do here, honestly. I should actually, whatever. Get back those. Conflagrate you for the hando. Actually, I guess we probably cycle this first. Doesn't matter what we do. You're dead. We win. Get the old scoop lag. 201 playing dredge. Remind everyone to follow me on Twitter if you haven't followed me. At Jim Davis. MTG, give me a follow on Twitter. And you'd know all about this stream if you followed. See? Food tokens! Check it out. Two and one, let's go. Driven to Despair is not really good. We tried that card too, it just wasn't really super exciting. Yeah, so I'm not sold on Tome Scour, but I'm certainly sold on the fact that Dredge could still be a very good deck in Modern, even without looting. Um, what are the exact tools you want? I'm not sure yet. Um, there are a lot of options. Um, I mean, this hand can cast Tome Scour, but only has one land and has two dead cards. Mulligan. Oh boy, this hand's great. Keep. I'm gonna ship this Conflagrate. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, shit, the conflagrate. Again, Cathartic Reunion is still the best card in Dredge. It was the best card when looting was legal. It's still the best card. If I ever tried the Dredge deck with Serum Powder and Pull from Eternity, no, I have not tried that. Bant Spirits, no idea. I haven't played much post banning, unbanning modern, so. Scalding Tarn. Fe Fetch Team Vents cast Tomescour. 
No, Snow Covered Mountain. All right. Greater Gargadon. God, you love to see it. Give him the horn. Mistress Bobble. Okay. What do we what do we we got an as for told balance deck here or something? Blood guest stopping ground. Okay. Dredge card? No. Okay. So we could cathartic, but if we do so, we are only going to dredge three cards and kind of waste it. I'm just going to cast the Loam. If you can't afford Copper Line Gorge, is Carpolgian Forest the next best thing? No, I would play Stop More Stopping Grounds or Fetch Lands. I also think it's like might just need more blue sources, honestly, because we've not been able to cast Tome Scour very often. The problem is if we were Union and Dredge Loam, and there isn't a Dredge card in our top three cards, we've basically wasted our Union. You want this card to dredge half your deck, not three cards. Now we have no other big dredging tool. And because we can't flashback lootings anymore, we're not going to find any either. So I think this is a pretty easy, just cast loam set up for next turn. Turn. Uh, look at our steam vents. Take some damages. So now you get to dredge loam. See two more cards off Shriekhorn. Oh god, Simeon Spirit Guy? What is this? What are they doing? What in God's name? Oh, they have Electro Dominance? I mean, that's probably fine, right? It's Gargadon's on seven. Sacrifice all lands you control. Sacrifice all creatures you control. We have, to, we have to keep. We can only keep one card. It's pretty good, I guess. Um, I guess turn two balance is pretty good, right? Off Simeon Spirit Guide. Um. All right, this will keep stomping around. I mean, we get two blood gas back. We draw one land. We have to get. We start loaming again. Doesn't seem that bad, you know? Um, I don't think we're going to dredge. This is on 7. Even though you can't see it, it's off the screen for some reason. Oh, Magic Online. Never change. So their big finish is a 9-7 in, like, a few turns. Um, we are going to mill some cards. Stinkbeat and Cathartic. Uh, we're just going to take a draw. we got to draw a, land, a second land here, so we'll just take the draw. Tilt. Thought Scour. All right. I mean, I, I guess they're doing stuff. Land, please. Land! Well, technically that is a land. Uh, we were going to play that as a land. Playing this as a land really sucks, but... Much more important to actually have a land... ...than uh, anything else, so... Why didn't they wait on their balance? I have no idea. Look, 
I don't know what they're doing, right? They're going to live their life. I'm going to live my life. Explosives on zero. Okay. Just food for the Gargadon, I guess. But I'm pretty sure we're racing a Gargadon just fine here, so... Am I going to balance again? I guess that would be kind of a tilt if they balanced again. Finale of Bronze. Alright. This has to be like the absolute nuts for their deck, right? Like turn 2 balance, turn 4, turn 4, turn 5 balance, all with Gargadon suspended. Alright. I mean, now... This Gargadon still isn't coming... It comes off next turn. Next turn, they attack for 9. I don't know if I can afford to try and draw land anymore. I might just need Demise and get lucky off our dredges. Alright. Well, that wasn't bad. That was not bad. We need to lance, you know? Yeah, make your, make, I mean, they're at eight. Like. Yes, air raid siren, we're all gonna die. So now do I dredge again? Dredging for only three is much less exciting. And one land drop gets back the blood gas. That's really tough. Dredging five is an easy choice. Dredging three is not nearly as exciting. They only have one card, man. Like, they don't actually have anything here. They had like basically their nut draw. They've comboed twice, and they have no hand, no lands, and a nine seven. So like, it's pretty good for us, honestly. We have thirty eight cards, two Narc Amoebas, three Creeping Chills. Right, whatever, just dredge. Oh, so lucky. You love to see it. Yeah, I would like to use the ability. That is a uh, that is my prerogative. Who needs lands? They're at six. They don't win the race. This is kind of embarrassing, honestly. <laughs> like, their deck did everything it was supposed to do, and more. Couldn't ask for a better hand. And they still just lost. Sweet. Um, okay. What do we want here? They're not playing Cascade cards, because they have the X spell. So, they can play Rest in Peace. Um... I guess we're just going to want just some of these. Um, what are we cutting? What are we cutting? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Could just cut all four creeping chills. We can also make some shaves, too. We can cut, like... I don't know, a Tome Scour, Narc Amoeba, and like two chills. Hmm. I think I actually like Narc Amoeba. Maybe we should cut the cards that that need to be cast because we might not have lands in play. I'm gonna draw. Right, let's shave like two chills, a tome scour, and like a thug. I think. Let's try this. Honestly, not sure. 
Sideboarding with Dredge is always tough because there's just so many cards in the deck that, you know, it's so many moving parts that all work together to make the deck work. You can't cut too many of them. Oh, these one land hands, you know? You just can't keep them. Just can't keep the one landers. New Planeswalker spoil. Y'all want to see a new Planeswalker spoiler? I don't know how y'all feel about spoilers. If you're if you're drastically opposed to spoilers, please raise your hand in chat. I'm going to keep this. Ship of land. Sounds pretty good. Leyline of the Void. Wow. 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 All right, spoilers coming. Close your eyes if you don't want to see it. In three, two, one. The Royal Scions. Planeswalker for blue, red, one. Plus one, draw and discard. Plus one, target creature gets plus two, plus zero, and gains first strike and trample. Minus eight, draw four cards if you do. Deal damage, any target number of cards in your hand. Five, loyalty, Planeswalker. This could be a dredge, dredge walker. It's a lot of loyalty. It's a lot of loyalty. All right. All right. So they draw a card. Um. Question here is. Do I want yeah, that plus red and six is very good. That is a good curve. Ooh, that's a really good draw. Okay. Um. Yeah, we should play Lance. I go. We're gonna end that major's claim. I would have considered trying to get Shriek Horn in play first. But now we can just end step claim and go for the cathartic on turn two. Alright, I mean What do they keep a no land hand? I didn't even notice. Cause they had they had two permanents in play. Didn't even notice. They kept a no-lander with Leyline Double Bobble. Oof. Claim now? Uh, why? What would I be scared of? I mean, they can't force negation on their turn. Um, Alright, let's draw a dredge card, please. Oh, Spell Pierce? Yeah, I, I guess. Alright. Dredge Guard. That's a City of Brass. So, once again, I don't really want to get thought of it with just a, a Loam. So we're going to Shriek Horn. And... We'll just fetch land, say go... Simeon Spirit Guide. Here it comes. Here it comes. As foretold. Alright. That's the thing you can do. Now what? Crashing Footfalls. You got it. Uh, they're baking cookies over there. That's pretty cool. I have one right here. Cookies! Alright, so we're gonna mill ourselves. Bloodgast Thug. I think I actually... I guess I have a land drop anyway. I'm going to fetch and not return Bloodgast. Alright, and then we're going to untap, mill ourselves, Brick. Dredge Thug. Okay, so there's our prize the Malagamons, our payoff for keeping the blood gas in our graveyard. Now we're going to Cathartic, pitch two dredge cards, and go bananas! Thug. Imp. Imp. Alright, so he, we hit the Nargrave, it didn't matter anyway, but it's fine. Play Lando, get some of these back. 
1624. I think they gain, oh, they gain life from the uh, Nature's Claim. We have two Conflagrates. Uh, we got a Loam. We're pretty well set up here. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. As foretold, whatever. Banana. So maybe they like boarded out of their balance plan. Anger of the gods. Holy shit. I mean, you just never know what's coming next from this person. Creeping chill amalgam. JP, resub, welcome back. Alright, well, um, if I dredge loam, I can cast loam, and I can, uh, I can conflagrate to kill one of these rhinos. Or, I can just dredge, I guess I can just dredge Tinkweed and cast it, right? That's not very good, though. Do I have any, uh, cycling lands in the graveyard? No, I do not. Alright, let me just kill All right, another blood guest. That's nice. Let's get back. Gemstone mine. Bloodstained mire. Stomping ground. We can gemstone mine. Get back blood guest. Gets back an amalgam. Just gonna deal four. Uh, pitching the dredge cards. I mean, we could just cast Creeping Chill, but that doesn't seem great. Let's get a pitch of land too. Let's get yeah. Here are the dredge cards. Next turn we're gonna dredge. Chunky butter. Fifteen months. Welcome back, Chunky butter. Um. We have one conflagrate left. I keep a land. Holy crap, dude! Thanks for following, everyone. Y'all great. All right. Have I recanted my absurd position that looting was a bad ban? Nope. Still think it was wrong. I'm a little more okay. I mean, I wasn't upset they footfalls again. I wasn't upset they uh. They unban Stoneforge, though the timing is a little weird. But I think Stoneforge is fine. Alright. Uh, yeah, I don't know if... The plan of crashing Footfalls plus Anger the Gods is actually pretty good against us. Um, how's it going, everyone? If you're sitting and welcome to the stream, my name's Jim Davis. We're playing Faithless Looting decks without Faithless Looting today. First one's Dredge. We're 2-1. Um, we are... Up a game against a weird restore balance deck. Uh, it's not looking too great though, I'm not gonna lie. Dredge Loam, Brick City again? Jeez. So I get back three. I can kill one Rhino, but I can't kill any more than that. Yeah, I think we're pretty screwed here. Yeah, I mean, the, the Anger of the Gods. Trontastic, it's my article, CoolStuffInc.com. Go check it out. I wrote an entire article about it. CoolStuffInc.com. Uh, yeah, Anger of the Gods plus 4-4s four is pretty good against Dredge. I'm just going to attack and see if they block. They're probably going to block, but I'm just attack and see what happens. If they, if they make block bad blocks here, you can maybe kill some stuff, but it's all face up on the table, so they probably shouldn't block. Alright, they, they are smart, did not block, so we are dead. Alright, so, tough game there. They had Leyline and Anger and Double Rhino, so... Um, alright. I mean, they have Leylines... I think this is still fine. I mean, obviously, 
the deck is worse without looting, but it's important to, to remember that you don't play decks in a vacuum. Just because this deck is worse in a vacuum um, than it was with looting doesn't mean it's not still good, because people are playing much less graveyard hate. I mean, our opponent's playing Leona of the Void, I don't know what they're doing, but no one else is playing Leona of the Void, and there's very few rest in pieces and stuff like that, so it's still an inherently a very powerful strategy. Hands pretty bad. I'm gonna mulligan this one. This is a, was a nature's claim. I'd be more interested, but all right, that's a hand. That is a hand. All right, so we're gonna ship a land here. I think. Yeah, I mean, I guess we could ship conflagrate. I don't know if we need a third land though. I don't think we do. Okay, uh, I would like to play Shriekhorn first, so I can upkeep, claim, and Shriekhorn. Out of the void. Who are these people, you know? Alright, top, bottom, draw. Nature's claim. Life dredge card. Everything's coming up millhouse. Amalgam, more dredge cards. Uh, land is fine. Thought Scour. Why are they playing? I guess they have Finale instead of playing Thought Scour. Alright. They were looking pretty good here. Upkeep. Hit the Shriek Horn, hit a Creeping Chill. It's kind of whatever. Uh, Dredge Loam. Whiffski, Whiffski, Whiffski. Not great. Not great so far. Only two lands in here also. Certainly not a not ideal, that's for sure. Yeah, that's that's your that's your card. Rhinoceros says Rhinoceri? Yeah. Alright. I mean, we have uh, the Conflict right here and the Loam Engine going too, so. Dredge Loam. Conflict right. I can kill both Rhinos with Conflict right. Yeah, we can do that, right? Nope, we're one short. Um, I think I just cast a bunch of Loams. Set up for next turn. Probably fetch a basic. I only have one. I only have one land in the graveyard. I think that's kind of a tilt. So I can loam again, but it doesn't really do anything. Huh? I can just kill one of these. I really want to save the conflagrates too. This is pretty awkward. Honestly, really, really awkward hand so far. Oh, I didn't. Did I not shriekhorn? I'm so bad. I just did. I just didn't even wasn't even paying attention. Ugh. All right. That's so bad. I didn't. I didn't upkeep Shriekhorn. All right, whatever. Do it now. Shriekhorn forgotten gave. All right. Pretty awkward. Uh, pretty sloppy. That's okay though. We'll we'll make it work. Get mountain. Oh my god. Don't look at me. No! No! Don't look at me! 
No. Obviously, Ross shows up. Ross only shows up when I play bad. So that's why he's always here. Ah, I said it first. Oh. All right. So I obviously need to get Stomping Ground so I can cast the Loam. Um, and I could, I could, my plan was to discard the Amalgam to hand size, and now I can't do that. We're one short on that. Oh boy. All right. What are we even doing here? We got to recover. Let's recover. Um Really prefer to not blow a conflagrate on one rhino. I want to be able to deal with the next wave of rhinos too. So I think we're just saying go. God, it's so stupid. Sweet D, it's awesome. Yeah, that was a bad one. There's so many cards in their hand too. Oh, I guess they cast vision, that's why. I looked away for half a second. Alright. Draw step. Dredge lump. Hit Bloodgast, another Forgotten Cave. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we're gonna loam up and kill both Rhinos. They could have like a count. I mean, they have a counter. Spell. I don't know. I don't know what the hell they're playing. So like, they could have. I mean, they, had, they had Anger of the Gods. They've had Balance. They've had all sorts of stuff. Um, so I guess if they counter my Conflagrate. I'm dead. But like, what the hell am I supposed to do anyway? Um. So I can loam up to eight, nine cards. And then I don't want to shock. I could shock and cycle the cave. Uh but I don't think that's worth it. I'm just gonna play the Copper Line Gorge. Get back Blood Gast and set up for Loam next turn. Yeah. They're gonna have like, Is It Charm or some stupid card that made me feel like an idiot. Is It Charmy, please? This ridiculously weird pile of cards they have here. They gotta anger the gods me or something? That'd suck. I think I could have kept the. I, I I think I punted. I should I should kept the fetch land. If I kept the fetch land, I could have gotten back this on the end step and play around anger. I probably should have done that. It's probably worth worth the one life rather than having copper line gorge. Yeah, I guess that's probably better. I think these decks are pretty bad because like they're they're working really hard to put together certain combinations of cards, but their combo is like put two four fours in play. Or draw three cards, but your deck is full of weird cards, you know? I played I played this deck a few, a few like decks similar to this a few times. I always felt like the juice wasn't worth the squeeze. All right, well, that's pretty bad for us. It's much worse than it looks because now I can't loam anymore. Uh, so if they have an anger of the gods, uh, we can no longer win the game basically.
Alright, I mean, please don't anger me. Electro dominance. Crashing. Why do I make blockers? Whatever. I mean, oh, what are you gonna do? We we, we lost to the Leon of the Void, Anger of the Gods deck. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. So two and two, two and two. Yeah, definitely a definitely a weird one. So we lost the Mirror. We lost to the Leon of the Void, Anger of the Gods, as foretold, stuff deck. Everyone, don't forget. September, 20 days in a row I'm streaming, starting today, this is the first day of 20, and we're going for goals here, you can see we're at 533 subs currently, you can see right below, and these are our thresholds, as we reach these thresholds, we get these prizes, simple as that, the next 20 days in a row, I'll see you all here on stream, Jared, perfect timing, 4 month resub, welcome back, ooh, this hand's good, ooh, excuse me, A little Tome Scour. We haven't, we haven't even cast Tome Scour yet, it feels like. It feels like we're just playing playing Dredge, but but our four lootings are just blank cards. Which is still honestly been fine. But it is good here. Uh gifted subs will count towards the total, yeah. They're they're not half off though. Yeah, Neonate's not great without without Golgari Grave Troll. Narc Amoeba. And not much else. That's fine, though. We got turn two cathartic. We're ready to roll here. Do resubs count? Once again, this it, it's my total... God, again? Unreal. I mean, our hand's really good on the play, so I can't really complain, but... Third dredge match this, in, in this league? That's wild. All right, um... But yeah, the, the, the subs thing is the total number of subs I have. Right now we're at 533. You can see that below. So as that threshold rises, so do the prizes. All right. Oh, God, here we go. Dredge, dredge. All right, so not... Not amazing. Uh, hit a sink weed imp and a prized amalgam. That was basically it, honestly. Not too, uh, not too great. They hit thug and tormenting voice. This always happens when like a deck is banned. Like the the most exciting thing for people is like trying to figure out how to keep playing the deck even though a card was banned. It's pretty common. Pretty common. Tia, you're, new, you're a new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. All right, so they hit Blood Gas Double Amalgam. Okay, their dredge is better than ours. Yeah. They have a Cathartic here also. Oh, my God. All right, well... We may have won the die roll, but their hand is much, much better than ours. Unfortunately, the Dredge Mirror is literally just who, whose hand is better in the first three turns. Uh, Churunbound, new sub, what's your name, where you're from? Welcome, my friend. Don't forget, all new subs, leave a private Discord chat server for sub only, it is bumping in there. All right? Make sure you get on that. Link your, your Twitch and your Discord. Information's in chat. Um, and also, we have a private Survivor Football League for subs only with free prizes. See? Free prizes. I already have 81 players. I want more. If you're a sub to a stream, you can play for free. The uh, the link is in the Discord. Pick one team each week. Super simple to play. Even if you don't know football, it's really, really easy. Just pick a team. If you win, you stay. If you lose, you're out. Free prizes for my sponsors. It's going to be awesome. All right, so... I mean, we're dredging here, I guess. We're at five currently. Yeah, I mean, we're just dead. Okay, so... 
The mirror is not very fun, as we've discovered through multiple, uh, multiple, uh, matches so far in this league. It's literally just who can dump their cards in, on, in the graveyard faster, and who can hit better on their dredges. Uh, not a lot, not a lot of play in the mirror. We don't sideboard at all, so let it ride. We're going first. This up is Matt from Norway, cool. Playing since 20, 2013, favorite card is Dragon God himself, favorite deck is anything soul-crushing. Sweet. The old dredge mirror. We should build a main deck rest in peace deck and house all these people trying to play dredge. Nah, we got plans. We're playing we're playing the Rakdos mid range deck next. Yeah, they're definitely going to layline us, for sure. Uh, it's another cathartic hand with no dredger. I think we have to keep... Oh, cathartic hands with no dredger is so rough. I mean, we're drawing to, like, any dredge card, any tome scour, any shriekhorn, any second cathartic union... I'm going to keep. Gonna take this card and put it in my floppy drive and uh, get it to the computer. Here we go. Just gonna add that card right to my. Uh, come on, focus. Focus, camera. I'm gonna put that right in the CD drive over here. Let's open this up. Yep. Put that in there. And we obviously just can't win. So I, I, this is not, this is not, not very fun. Um, new sub is, uh, ooh, uh, Devante, am I saying that right? From Kentucky. Playing since Theros, if your card is Prophory Nodes, if your deck is Jeskai Harbinger. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I guess we're just going to scoop, basically. We can't actually win. So I guess their hand if their hand is like literally nothing and ley lines. You all ban faithless looting for this? This is why you ban faithless looting, so we can just do this. This is the life we can live. Alright. Uh I guess we're getting a we only have one black land. I guess Tome Scour doesn't matter anymore. Get blood crypt, I guess. Alright, well I guess we are playing Cathartic Union, discarding Conflagrate and Mountain. Okay, none of those cards do anything. <laughs> uh. Can't even cast our Goblin Piker. I know. I know. Alright, you win. Alright, you win. It's all yours. You win. Okay. So, they banned Faithless Looting. 
And what happened? We played against Dredge three times, playing our own Dredge deck. Yeah, about that. All right. Uh, I don't think this is the exact way you want to build this deck. Um, I'm going to want to work on this for more for sure. Um, not really sure about Tome Scour. Um, it's honestly pretty hard to cast on turn one in this deck, which makes it not very good. Um, there's a lot of options. We have a uh, we could work on Tome Scour, Hedron Crab, make it like more blue. Glimpse the Unthinkable, Tormenting Voice. There's certainly tons and tons of uh, of ways to build this deck. Um, and I also think that I'm interested in trying out some more like Loam Cycling Land decks. That seems really, really interesting and fun as well. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot you can do with your graveyard. It's just going to be a little different without looting. So that's that. I was That was like one of the worst leagues I've had in like so long. <laughs> Three Dredge Mirrors and like the Lay One of the Void, Anger the Gods rhino person that's great that's great all right um so yeah um that's dredge we're moving on we're playing this Rakdos mid-range deck next and uh maybe I should add some uh some ley lines to the board you know but all right this deck is next if you're watching on youtube you gotta look for that, look for that in a different video right y'all great